Solving tricky problems requires thinking out of the box. Or in this case, the tank. Here's the problem. This is Chikonjetsu. Born two months early, every breath is a struggle. He needs a few weeks of help to fill his lungs. Otherwise, like countless other African babies born prematurely or with acute lung infections, he's likely to die. A CPAP or Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Machine, standard equipment in the US, would help. The problem is, the $6,000 price tag is beyond the reach of African hospitals. A visiting group of medical engineering students from Rice University in Texas solved the puzzle. The answer was just outside the tank, the aquarium pump. We were thinking out of the box, just looking at different off-the-shelf pumps. We were looking at computer fans, and we found that aquarium pumps were actually perfect for this kind of application uh, because they're not only low cost and easy to repair, but they provided the exact airflow that we needed uh, for the CPAP device. Take two aquarium pumps, lots of tubes, put it inside a metal box, easily made in Africa, a bottle of water to regulate the pressure of the air and the oxygen, and you have the Pomani Bubbles CPAP, which costs not $6,000, but $300. And it works. In Malawi, they found for premature babies, CPAP cut the number of deaths by more than half. So the machine is now being rolled out to hospitals across the region. Chikonjetsu spent three weeks on CPAP. Six months later, and he's a healthy and curious baby. All thanks to someone thinking outside the box. Or in this case, the tank.